Alrighty, so we're going to Hermitage today. I've heard there's some people out there who need help and also some more uh, immigrant, foreign type of people. So uh, we're just going to go interact with them and uh, see what we find and see how we can help. So a little more context here. We didn't find the Hispanic or international community. Um, so instead, I met up with two of the girls from a photography group and we went to check out some of the damage in Hermitage. Man, so around here in Hermitage, there's like really, really big trees that are down. One house got double attacked by these two giant trees and just mauled the house. Yep, there it is. Shoot. Yep, this is the house. Melody yes. and Ashley. Ashley, yes. Melody and Ashley, we're all here. We're just gonna check out the damage on this. There's probably like some water damage in here. Yeah, it's not like one tree could have just hit it. You know, both trees had to hit it. And uh, this house just looks really bad. They got a power line running out here too. Hello. Good. You guys are lucky. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the story? What happened? What, ha what happened to the people living there? It fell in her bedroom. She was on the way up the steps to go to bed. Oh my God. Yep. How close it was. So what's going to happen to the house now? Is it like insurance? An insurance yeah. issue? Yeah. Dang. But no no roofing people or anybody? I guess maybe we need someone to like come chop the tree down, right? Like chop it up? Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, they said the insurance company is going to take care of everything. Oh, good. Yeah. You coming along, Awen? You're pretty good. I don't think there's anything dangerous in these leaves. <laughs> but yeah, I guess this is where it was uprooted. It just doesn't, it doesn't look like that one. Like that one's like a hole. Yeah. But this one's like, <laughs> wow. Look at that, man. Now we are going to go up to Dodson Chapel Road, uh, me and Melody and Ashley, and we're going to see what we can find up there. We heard uh, from her, from the older lady who lives here um that there's a lot of damage up there so that's where we're gonna go next okay so if you were watching in uh if you're watching in the first vlogs um we're back at one of the places i stopped at earlier and check this out this is just like insanity oh look some cotton candy yum i really want to eat it let's eat when you want some you want some cotton candy here go ahead and go ahead and grab some <laughs> We're not gonna, okay, I know you're all probably thinking I'm, I'm stupid, but. Lord almighty. Oh, this is, this is like a little warehouse. Look at that, wow. We just got mobbed by security people over there. There was like two little vehicles and three other guys that all came at like one time like, hey, uh, can you not be here with your daughter? It's like, yeah, okay, I understand, so. We're gonna go somewhere else and uh, see what Dodson Chapel Road looks like. And I think Kroger's right up here. Check that out. Uh, I don't think the power lines are supposed to be this low either. So. We are really close to Dodson Chapel and Kroger now. Whoa. First hand look at Kroger and the Fifth Third Bank right next to it are, uh, yeah, hit pretty hard. Man, I can't believe those gas prices. $9.99 per gallon for everything. Looks like the stock market really did crash. Yep, there's Kroger. Looks like part of the roof over there got hit. All that Fifth Third Bang got hit. Panera got hit. All those, wow, Outback, all those little shops over there. Yeah, those those all got hit real hard. And uh, the signs are gone from Kroger too. Look at that thing, wow.
So that footage was pretty crazy. The Dodson Chapel area is not huge, but it got just totally destroyed. So if you want to come volunteer at the Dodson Chapel area, you kind of got an idea of uh, how many people were there. But uh, there's still still a lot of help needed there too as well. So And also we're going to Cookville right now. Um, I have to go back to work tomorrow. So I'd rather do a more extensive tour through Hermitage and through Cookville. But um, I just wanted to assess the damage at, in, in Hermitage real quick in the main damage area to let people know what that's like. And then also Cookville because I haven't seen a lot of pictures or videos. I've just heard about it a lot. And I've heard about a lot of volunteers going out there, so I don't think there's like a lot of help. But it's far, it's farther out from Nashville. It's about an hour and a half from Nashville. So, and it got hit by the hardest tornado. That's where there is a lot of need. See if you can get people to go out there and help as well. Well, I'm not really sure what's going on here. There are three police cars um, currently slowing down traffic to about 20 miles an hour. Yeah. This happened the other uh, day when I was going to work, and I really don't understand why. I don't understand what's happening. This dude has got his emergency lights on, but I don't understand what's happening. Yep, we're going five miles an hour. Really don't understand why. Been maybe half a mile so far. All right, mile and a half now. Marker 228. Can you guys see down the road? I'm gonna try to... Nobody on the highway. There's absolutely nobody down there. Exit 229. Can we please go? All right, that dude just joined them now. Last week when it happened, there was no result. There was nothing on the other end. I drove another 10 miles. Mile marker 230, right there. All right, we're almost exit 232, and it does look like there's some smoke. So, oh, looks like we're coming to a stop. I do. What's going on? On the roof of my car now. I guess this is how our day is going. Yep. Traffic for days, bro. Traffic for days. All these people behind me are like, what the heck, man? There's the old McDonald's sign from yesterday. All right, and we are moving again. Okay, so we're here in Cookville. This area is looking good right here. Um, just gotta find where the main damage is. Oh yeah, this is looking kind of bad. Oh yeah. Here we go, oh yeah. All those houses on there. All these people, volunteers, yep. Man, oh yeah, this is destroyed. Wow, look at this. This is pretty bad. This is similar to Mount Juliet right now, which is uh, it's pretty much what I've been hearing. Easy. Look at all this, look at all this wood and stuff, all this debris. All these power lines are down. They told me I have to go to um, Putnam County office or something like that, get a volunteer tag and an address, and then I can go in there and volunteer and take pictures and stuff like that. So if you come to Cookville, make sure you sign up um, if you're gonna volunteer or you're coming with a group who's signing up so that you can uh, you know, help, <laughs> yeah. So uh, we, we didn't have any luck here in Cookville. Um, I went to the fairgrounds to try to get a volunteer pass to come in to, to the cleanup zone and everything. I told them I had um, the trash bags and the hand wipes and the toilet paper and the food and stuff that I still, like I'm trying to, to give to people who haven't been helped, which I guess at this point is stupid because Red Cross and all of them have already come in here. But I also asked if I could just take a few pictures or something. And once I said that, she went, oh, no, no, can't let you in, can't let you in, no, um, no. And she just got very, like, shut me down really quick uh, when I mentioned that. So uh, I just, I think they're really sensitive uh, about this area because they're, this is where most of the deaths happened. Um, in Nashville, I don't think as many people died. And so that, I guess that's why all the streets are more open. Everyone's uh, more free to report and take pictures. But here, it's a smaller town, which Cookville's not that small. I drove through it, and it's, it's a decent-sized town. And... Um, but it's not it's not like a city it's not like nashville so um the communities out here i think are a lot more um sensitive which is totally respectable so um yeah we didn't get in here if you are going to volunteer you i mean phone pictures are probably all you're going to get if you don't get caught i guess um i think probably the areas where people um didn't lose family members is probably okay to take pictures but I'm not sure where those areas are, of course. I didn't really get to, to be around in here too much, so. I drove around a little bit. Uh, of course, it's dark now, you know. I drove around and 
tried to find different places, but there really wasn't much besides the video we got at the beginning. I'm here actually, Double Springs Church of Christ, and I got to finally give away all the stuff that I bought. Pallets of water bottles over there, like a massive amount of water bottles over there. Pallets, six, probably six pallets full of water bottles. Yeah, I, I hope it goes to good use. I guess that's all to report on around here. Cookville's pretty strict. Cookville's pretty strict. I think you should probably come with a group. It'd be the easiest way to get in. And of course, that, I mean, I guess just photographers, if you're just trying to take photos, it's probably not going to happen. Um, if you're volunteering, um, I think a group is the best way. I think they're suspicious of you if you are just individual. Uh, we're going to go home now and eat some dinner and do some stuff. I got to go back to work tomorrow. I guess I'll see you guys in another video. Uh, maybe next week I'll volunteer or do some more stuff around here. Whatever it needs because I think it'll take a while for Nashville to be all cleaned up. And uh, Cookville, Cookville is quite a ways outside Nashville. It's a good hour and 15 minutes. A good hour and 15 minutes, I'd say. Yep, I guess I'll, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Love your families. Take care of each other and uh, volunteer. Come out, come out here and volunteer. Yeah, that right there. This house right here as well. And another house right there. There's a lot of debris for sure. I saw a house. Uh, back there it looks pretty torn up, but uh, better than other houses I've seen.